Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, nice to meet you. I am Veronica. I'm back with another pick a card tarot reading for you. And this one is for all my single friends. We are going to figure out how your love life is going to look like six months from now and also what's going to be going on throughout this time so during the next six months if you are here for the first time i want you to know that i do have a lot of love readings on my channel so if you are going to enjoy this one let me know what you would like to see next in the comment section and also check out one of my previous readings i'm also guys on tiktok um, and i'm starting to post a little bit more on instagram so if you haven't followed me there yet i would appreciate if you could do that so we can stay in contact and get to know each other better and without further ado let's go to the card selection all right guys so i want you to choose one pile that you feel the most drawn to group number one in their temple group number two yes group number three priestess so please take as much time as you need in order to choose your pile so feel free to pause right now if you need more time all the timestamps for the groups are in the description box so look for it click on the timestamp and then i'll see you in your reading and i'm going to start with the group number one group number one you guys chose the inner temple so this is your card um inner temple we do have a lot of cards guys let me see all right four tower cards i usually pick four or three Anyway, inner temple, tune into the portal of your heart and devotion. So this makes me feel like during the next six months, you guys are going to be focusing on prioritizing yourself and your needs and practicing self-love and realizing that you are more than happy with just being on your own. However, that does not mean that you are not open to receiving, that you are not open um to new people entering your life so i'm not saying that you're not going to meet anyone i'm just saying that you guys are going to feel so much better uh just being on your own um having the freedom to do whatever the heck you want to do or whatever the heck you want to do it okay let's see your tarot cards okay let me see all right so you guys got the ace of pentacles you got the ace of wands so aces two aces that's it's a great sign we have knight of swords and temperance okay so how i'm seeing that guys this temperance card pretty much connected with the card that you guys chose which is the inner temple uh all about the harmony and balance and going slow and just Figuring out what you like and what you want and what you don't like and what you don't want to deal, deal with anymore. What kind of energies or people you don't want to deal with anymore. So I see you kind of like discovering yourself and discovering, as I said, what you want and how you want your life to look like and going very slowly. However, I also see with the Knight of Swords and Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles as well. I do see that there is someone new coming into your life. And with the Ace of Wands and Knight of Swords, it feels like this person is going to come very quickly, very suddenly, very out of nowhere. I don't know if it's anyone that you guys know. Um, I mean, this could be uh, Gemini, Libra or Aquarius. I also feel like for some of you, it could be a Taurus, could be a Leo for some of you. Uh, but I do have a bunch of different readings on the topic of like the next romantic partner or so. So if you want to check that out, I will link it up here. Uh, anyway, uh, going back to your reading. So I do think that there's someone new entering your life with the Ace of Wands. I feel like you're very attracted to this person. And this person is uh, coming very quickly and they're trying to sweep you off your feet, let's say, <laughs> with the Knight of Swords. Because this person is kind of like coming into your life and making you kind of like maybe not fall in love with them, but recognize them and they are definitely there to be seen like you're going to see this person this person is not going to like slip by um so they're coming in and i do think that they want something they want romance they want some 
intimate connection, let's just say. I see that you are quite attracted to them and um, definitely they are very attracted to you. The thing is, I feel like you, during the next six months, you're realizing that you don't want to be like jumping from one relationship or connection onto the other you um are realizing that you just want to slow down that maybe even 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 though this person kind of like jumps into your life it doesn't mean that you're going to jump in with them uh so i think you are kind of like letting them know about that or making them see that it's not gonna be that easy that you need the stable foundation um and that you need to get to know this person that you're not gonna fall for this person so quickly like it's not gonna be that easy uh i feel like it might be because of the previous relationships connections that you had in the past um and you just don't want to like do the same thing you want to approach this new relationship this new connection or the next con connection uh, from a different perspective and uh try out something different and i see that with the ace of pentacles that you just want to, as I said, build a stable foundation, get to know this person, or just in general, like you have rules, you have set the rules for yourself, and you follow them, and you just don't want to break them. I also see that uh, in general, you guys are going to find some sort of passion or hobby um that you will be spending a lot of time on during the next six months, and I know it's not really connected with your love life, but I'm seeing that it's a little bit connected because you are not so focused on like, oh, I want to be in a relationship and that is like the priority for you. No more. I feel like during the next six months, it's not really a priority. You have different things that you are focusing on. Um, Self-love, definitely focusing on just loving yourself more and um, being fine with just being on your own. And I see that you guys are slaying it. And because of that, you are attracting more people into your life. So I do see a knight of swords coming in. So let's see what else we have. Flourish, magical blessings, and healing. Okay, so healing, yes. I'm definitely seeing that you guys are healing. Um, maybe, let's see what it says. Now is the time for you to give or receive healing. Everyone has natural ability to heal others. Yes, even you. But I think it's mostly talking about you healing yourself from those wounds, from um, the, thing that, uh, the things that have happened to you in the past um doing some shadow work mm, also hearing hearing like working with your with your inner child that's what i'm hearing yes so you're healing you are trying to bring more balance into your life more harmony trying to go with the flow more and not push things not push relationships into like existence you know not being desperate, just giving yourself time. So that's healing. We also have flourish, which makes perfect sense to me. The Lotus Flower Fairy tells you to learn from experience and shed your inner light on any unclear areas of your life or, or those of others. So it feels like it's this transformation that it's like you're becoming a butterfly. <laughs> you are shedding your skin like a snake. And you are rebuilding with better structure, with better foundation, with better kind of like rules, you know? And you're evolving as a person. Let's see. We also have magical blessings. So uh, some blessings are definitely coming into your uh, romantic life. Okay. It says, whatever you're going through, you're being assisted assisted by magical fairy blessings the fairies say you can bless others too okay all right so you guys definitely have this power here to bless others to heal others to help others somehow once again i know it's not connected with love life but you know what actually you might be helping someone to go through some difficult time um maybe some of your friend might be going through a difficult time as in some sort of like heartbreak, uh, breakup, etc. And you will be there for them uh, and you will be, you will help them heal themselves. Okay, let's see what else we have. Your love life next six months uh, or six months from now. Okay, so we have the return of Aphrodite, temple, birth of the goddess, guidance, goddess energy, 
um, treating as sacred. So you guys are treating yourself this way. You are feeling like this goddess, like God, like this goddess. And you are just mm, like magnetizing so many beautiful things into your life because you are putting yourself as a priority on the priority list. You are at the very top. I feel like you guys might be researching a lot and learning a lot about the goddess energy um, and uh, trying to connect more with your feminine side uh, because it doesn't matter if you're a female or male, everyone has a feminine energy and also a masculine energy and I feel like you guys might have been living in your masculine a lot and during the next six months you're going to be really connecting with your feminine energy because of that you are like this empress you are like this aphrodite uh goddess i uh, have this goddess energy uh, about you i just saw synchronicity so definitely you guys might be seeing a lot of number 13 i just saw 13 uh anyway so i love that for you because you are magnetizing and attracting a lot of beautiful <gasps> Oh my god, this is crazy. I said 13 and I didn't realize that this card is number 13. I swear, I swear I didn't see that. Oh my god, it's so crazy. Okay, so you guys definitely might be seeing a lot of number 13. And someone Google number 13 and let me know what it is about, okay? Because um, I'm not that great at numerology, but it means something. Oh my god, I love that. It might be 13 or 1 plus 3 as in 4 whoa okay anyway yes you are feeling amazing and i feel like other people treat you as sacred as well other people compliment you a lot and find you very 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 attractive mm, okay i love that and we also have freedom this is one of my favorite cards by the way i really just like the vibe i, I dig the vibe it reminds me of uh it makes me feel like she's a sagittarius i don't know it's just this badass you know she reminds me of like i know that she's not <laughs> uh they they don't look the same but miley cyrus for some reason like this badass energy very like feminine and just independent yeah self-determination freedom energy anyway so freedom independence and self-determination so you guys are definitely attracting someone into your life but you know what you don't have to because you feel so good with yourself and you actually are enjoying this freedom a lot um you're feeling very independent and you are definitely working a lot on your feminine energy feeling like the empress feeling like uh you know, it's easy for you to attract whoever you want into your life, maybe love. So there's, since you know that you can, then you don't have to, like you don't feel like it. That's how I'm feeling. Like you are just not going to put a lot of attention on it. It's fine. Like it would be great to do that, but you know what? I have time. Let me enjoy this moment. Let me enjoy just being single. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. And I hope to see you in my next one. Group number two. You guys chose the Yes card. I don't know. The, I don't know if it's going to focus. There we go. The Yes card. Okay. Just say yes. All right. Maybe there's something happening in your love life right now. And you're wondering, like, should I do it or not? Yes. Give it a try. Say yes. Say yeah. Okay. Uh, so let's check your tarot cards first of all. So, who? Okay, five of cups. Oh, three of swords. Oh, ooh. all right. So we have um, person number one, <laughs> knight of wands. Person number two, knight of cups. Oh, ho, ho. okay. We have the King of Pentacles. We have the Three of Swords. And we have the Five of Cups. <sighs> Let me tell you how I'm seeing this, guys. So group number two. I see that during the next six months, there will be two people that will come into your life. And... Okay, I'm gonna be honest, okay? I'm gonna be very honest. And I feel like one person might break your heart. However, right after them, 
there's this next person <laughs> and i feel like you guys actually might have might start like six months from now a committed relationship with this person or you are seriously thinking about commitment with this person but i do see and i'm not sure who is it going to be to be honest actually actually i think i know i, th I think i'm seeing it okay so let me show you because we have three of swords so that is a card of heartbreak breakup going through a difficult time and healing um disappointment um okay yeah negative things however don't click out of the video this is gonna get better i okay i promise you so the way that i place the cards i place the knight of swords on the left side and on the right side okay that doesn't matter you know what that doesn't matter but we had the three of swords in between so we have knight of cups i hope you see this knight of cups knight of wands and three of swords so to me it looks like there will be a knight of wands coming into your life knight of wands might be like a sagittarius leo or aries um, I think it's going to be, it doesn't have to be the zodiac sign, but this person is very charismatic. They're very funny. It's very hard to resist this person because they just have something like about them. There is this energy about them that's very hard to resist. And I feel like you're going to fall for them. However, this person like is courageous and they will try to, they will try to maybe you know, get to know you, spend some time with you, take you out, etc. It's really fun with this person. That's why I said it's very hard to resist it, uh, resist this person. And the thing is, like, they're going to come and they're they're going to come very quickly and then they're, they're going to be gone very quickly. Um, as his back is turned away from us. Uh, and then we have this three of swords over here, which is like heartbreak, breakup. And then we have knight of cups. Look, a knight of cups, he is not... Um, like he is facing us his back is not turned he's not turned away from us so that's why i'm thinking the knight of of wands is going to be the one that is going to come in and just kind of like be gone but then we have the knight of cups that is coming right after the knight of wands and this is going to be a person that is going to well be very interested in you let's say and i do think that they, they will want to like save you or like help you or make you feel better. I feel like, I'm not sure if it's like they've been waiting for the Knight of Wands to be gone from your life, but it feels like they come around the same time when the Knight of Wands will. So the Knight of Cups is uh, someone romantic, someone caring, someone giving. They will want to give you a lot. Um, maybe not like uh, material things but a lot of their time and energy and they will care deeply about you and will want the best for you and they might even mm, like tell you about how the knight of wands is treating you unfairly but you might not be seeing it for a while so i feel like this person might already be in your life while you are hanging out with the knight of wands the toxic guy <laughs> the bad guy however it doesn't have to be all for all of you the same this this might mean that you know you're hanging out with a toxic guy but then the knight of cups right after the toxic guy is gone the knight of cups is coming in and offering you the cup you know their love and i see with the king of pentacles that this is representing a stable relationship someone that is emotionally ready and someone that is ready for uh, commitment and is serious about you and the relationship and the prospect of like being together <sighs> yeah this person is definitely stable um but yeah because we also have the five of cups and you see the way that she's like crying over all the cups that are uh spilled um that are on the ground however she's not seeing yet but soon she's going to see that the two two more cups are actually behind her and they're standing there waiting for her and i think <laughs> it's somehow referring to this knight of cups that might be in your life already even now but you're not seeing him or her you're not seeing that knight of cups and i feel six months from now you will definitely like you will okay let me sip some water and oh we're gonna continue <sighs> <laughs> okay so let's see what else we have okay we have hope hope is always there even if we can't see it 
And also, like, as I said, it's like, this person is there, but you might not see him, her, yet. Like, this person might be already there, to be honest. They definitely will be, or, like, they're about, like, some... When you are still going to be dealing with the Knight of Wands, this Knight of Cups is going to come in. Uh, optimistic expectations can help change a negative situation to positive one. So, you know, whenever that's going to be happening, I don't want you guys to be focusing so much on what you lost, if you lost, you know, this Knight of Wands person. Or, yeah, just have hope. For the future, know that better things are coming. If you guys are in this situation right now, someone broke your heart, I want you to know that there is someone out there for you that is going to treat you so much better. And there's a reason why this person walked out of your life. There's a reason for everything that happened and why this person was in your life and why they're no longer in your life. So think about it this way and be optimistic about the future of your love life, of your romantic life, have hope. Um, and this is also just a message for you for the next six months to be optimistic and to have hope to not give up on love. Protection. Okay. Uh, so I see with the protection card that you guys are going to be protected. Uh, I think this could be referring to like protection from your spirit guides, from the universe, but also protection from this Knight of Cups person. So someone that is you know, trying to come into your life and save you somehow. Because <laughs> Knight of Cups sometimes has this, like, tendency to, like, want to save everyone. Uh, which is cute. Sometimes they it might be a little bit annoying, but it depends on, like... Depends on who you're dating, right? <laughs> I don't know if I could be with a Knight of Cups person, but it's because I'm a Sagittarius... Capricorn moon, come on, Capricorn moon, everything explained, right? Okay, so let's see what else we have. Uh, we have the present, gift, treasure, revelation of own value, and nowness. Okay, with well, the gift and treasure, so I think it's just talking about um, <clears throat> this Knight of Cups person coming in and being your gift gift from the universe for you but also I think this person in general is going to be getting you a lot of gifts and um kind of like organizing some surprises for you and just surprising you in many ways it doesn't have to be like big material things like they don't have to doesn't mean that they are going to buy you some something super expensive but um like even the flowers or something like that. It's like they're going to be surprising you and giving you presents and you're going to feel very loved and appreciated. And we have Song of the Siren, the call summoning voice to acknowledge. So I think with the Song of the Siren, uh, I think it just means that you guys are somehow attracting these people into your life by um, acknowledging the goddess slash God, that you are loving yourself and the more that you love yourself, the more, the, the better people or the more, let's call it, let's say, the more valuable people you're going to attract into your life group number two. Okay, so that's all that I got for you. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, just leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Take care. Hey, group number three, you guys chose the priestess <laughs> the priestess Kai very pretty how are you being being called to step up and lead Ooh. so with this makes me feel like during the next six months you guys are going to step up step up your game and put yourself out there more to the people um but also knowing your value knowing what you bring to the table um, believing in yourself and treating yourself with respect. <laughs> okay, let's see what we have. Uh, first of all, I want to focus on tarot cards. Yes, it's this Queen of Swords energy. Queen of Swords, she definitely respects herself, her boundaries. Uh, she is very vocal about what she wants, what she expects from others and what she doesn't like. 
Mm -mm -mm. I feel like you guys, Ace of Swords, like you guys are going to be with the Ace of Swords, cutting out all the BS. So previous relationships or any kind of people that don't serve you. Or if you're going to meet somebody new, you are going to be very strict with uh, who you want to spend your time with, your energy with, who you are sharing your energy with. Uh, you're kind of like cutting through that BS, cutting through that fog and seeing clearly, knowing exactly what you want and all of that. Okay. Oh, yeah. Eight of Cups and the Hermit. Very cool. Okay. So I see you guys also walking away from some sort of situation or person. It could be a person from uh, your previous relationship or someone that maybe is you know, not the best for you. And I feel like during the next six months, you're completely like shifting. You are just leaving the past in the past, realizing that in, in order to be happy again, you got to leave it completely. So leave this person or leave this situation. Or even if you are not together with this person anymore, you might be thinking a lot right now still about this person. This person is still somehow involved in your life, even though they might not be physically there. As I said, you maybe are, I don't know, checking them out all the time on social media, trying to see what they're up to and thinking about them. And this person is on your mind and they are like, you're wasting your time having this person on your mind. You could be doing so many different things. And I feel like during the next six months, you guys are realizing that and you have to, you know that you have to fully walk away from the situation and leave the past in the past. And this doesn't have to be a person, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't have to involve a person. I mean, maybe someone else uh, was uh, impacted you in a certain way where later on you, let's say, you might not be walking away from a person, but from way of thinking, uh, from having a certain mindset about men or having a certain mindset about women. Um, you're like, you're leaving something behind that is just not serving you. And you know, it's not for you. Um, you might have been living this way for a long time or being with this person for a long time or anything like that, because I see that it's hard, that it's a, it's a hard transition, but you're realizing that, you know, I am so much better than this situation. I deserve so much better with the Queen of Swords. I feel like you are realizing that because you guys are very focused, the Hermit, on yourself, on uh, reflection, on reflecting on yourself, on your life, and you are really taking time. God, I'm seeing so many synchronicities today. 333, three, three. I just saw 333, 333 three, 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 three. I feel like you guys are just reflecting on your life and really giving yourself the time to reflect, to sit in silence, to do something on your own. I feel like you have just these like big epiphanies about life and about yourself. And um, maybe you doesn't have to mean that you always like sit on your own and have these epiphanies. Maybe you are uh, going, for example, to a psychologist and they make you realize that something, you know, something, because it's going to be different for everyone. But I see that you are reflecting on your life a lot. Um, and you are just not allowing anymore to for this eight of cups energy to be around you. Because you are realizing that you got to treat yourself with more respect, and you deserve so much more and better than what you had. Okay, or the type of people that you were attracting. So but they, moving on with the Ace of Swords, I do think that there is someone that is going to chat you. You will be talking with someone. Queen of Swords and Eight of Swords. Ace, sorry, Ace of Swords makes me feel this way. However, you're keeping it very cool. So uh, I don't think this is a relationship. It's more like you're just chatting with someone. It might be fun. Uh, this person is interesting. This person is stimulating you intellectually because with an Queen of Swords and Ace of Swords, I feel like you have quite deep conversations with this person. Okay, we have wait for winter. Okay, interesting. During the color months, the fairy, que fairy queen of winter will help you manifest your most heartfelt, heartfelt wishes as long as your intentions are for the highest good of all. Okay, so during the winter time, whenever the winter time is going to be for you, group number three, because, you know, we're from all around the world here. Okay, <laughs> um, it's very important for you to focus on yourself and as this card said set intentions um 
for the highest good of yourself, for the highest good of all. Um, become this beautiful winter <laughs> queen. But once again, it's like cold, you know? It's cold. Just like with a queen of swords, as I was saying, it feels cold. And now we have winter, so that makes sense. I feel like you are maybe not closed in your heart, but you're protecting yourself and you are keeping your cool and you don't want any more drama. You just want to like keep your cool. And I see you doing that. Wait for winter. Something might be also uh, happening during winter. Wait for winter. Maybe someone's going to chat you in winter or something, some breakthrough is going to happen in winter. Celebration. So with the celebration card, I see that someone is going to invite you to some sort of celebration. So you might be going as a wedding gift, for example, or to some birthday party, or you might meet someone at the birthday party. I saw another synchronicity. Okay. Too many synchronicities today. Uh, you know what? No, there's never too many. <laughs> okay, but yeah, celebration. So you guys might be uh, celebrating something yourself or so I see it's some sort of party and I see some person next to you with you on the party okay so uh, oh my god I love that oh ooh, okay <laughs> okay so we have a drift so you see the way that she's just letting go this is you guys during the next six months you're just letting go you're just letting go and letting the water take you wherever it's meant to take you and allowing a higher force to take charge charge for a time exactly you are just letting things be and just seeing what's gonna happen without feeling like you gotta commit and you know you gotta find someone you're like you gotta be serious no no you don't <laughs> we also have homeland and i remember when this card popped out i wasn't sure about it and this popped out like again later so i was like okay i feel like this is not going to be a message for everyone however i do think that some of you might be going back home whatever that means for you as i said only some of you you're going back home that's what i heard when i saw that card i i, I believe like it popped out and i saw it i usually don't see all of them but this one i saw and i was like huh okay um but it feels like it is a message for some of you you guys are going back home. Maybe you're traveling back to your hometown. Maybe you're moving somewhere. Maybe you're going to find home. You know, like a place that you can call home. A place where you feel like at home. Um, okay. <laughs> and one more card, guys. We have telepathy. So this is very interesting. Because as I said, um, I do see you talking with someone. However, it's not that serious. Um Telepathy, nonverbal communication, energetic pulses, and mind reading. So this instantly reminds me of like meeting somebody in your dream. So maybe you guys uh, have been or will be dreaming of some person. Or you just feel very connected to someone that you don't really know or you don't really talk to anymore. Uh, if that's the case, I feel like with this card... Might be saying that you are somehow not like that there is a deeper connection there than what you have than what you could like think or than what you could see, let's say. Telepathy. Yeah. It just feels like you guys are connected. And once again, this is a very specific card. Um, but you guys might be dreaming of someone or will be dreaming of someone or you might be dream like meeting this person in astral realms or thinking about someone and just like feeling like, for example, something's going to happen in regards to this person with this person or, you know, thinking about someone, then they call you something about that. There's like, there's some sort of connection going on between you two. Energetic pulses and mind reading. You might be able to like read their mind somehow. If that's the case, if you feel like this resonates with someone already, um, then well, that's your sign that I feel like you guys might be soulmates or there is definitely some special, very deep connection between you two. And if you don't feel like it resonates with you right now, well, I still wanted to say it because I feel like it might resonate six months from now <clears throat> all right guys so thank you so much for watching i love this for you and let me know how you 
feel about this in the uh, comment section. Uh, leave a like, subscribe if you haven't yet. It really helps out a lot my channel. And I really appreciate you being here. Check out one of my previous readings and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.